Phones only have so much storage space for photos and videos, so a lot of people use cloud photo storage services. But on new this morning, the Let Your Know team breaks down a big change at one of the most popular storage sites at why it means you should act now. Free unlimited storage space, even the ability to categorize what you upload. Let's say you were on water, a river, an ocean. You can actually just type that in and Google Photos will just show you all those in chronological order. Data Doctor's Ken Colburn says on June 1st, Google will no longer offer free unlimited storage. But there's some good news. You won't get charged until after you've used 15 gigabytes. For most people, that's probably two or three years, maybe four years uh, of photos that you can back up for free. So 15 gigabytes of storage for free with Google, then $1.99 a month for up to 100 gigabytes. Still a better deal than Apple's five gigabytes of free storage for iPhone users, then 99 cents a month for up to 50 gigabytes after. And since that 15 gigabyte free storage limit doesn't start until next month, get busy. Until then, Google Photos remains totally free. If you have a bunch of stuff you wanna get uploaded, do so before June 1st so that it doesn't count against that 15 gigabyte cap. Google Pixel phone users will still get free unlimited storage. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get free unlimited photo and five gigabytes of video storage. Wherever you decide to store photos, Colburn has some advice. What you don't wanna do is spread your photos all over all, over all these different systems, you kind of want everything in one place so that you don't tr have to try to remember what's where. Another good thing about storing photos this way, you won't have the same damage possibilities you'd have with disks and hard drives over time. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know for more on photo storage. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.